Stos, you're victors. Well done to them. And now, we will move on to our 18 UTC block of matches. It's going to start off with Free Ganondorf 4 versus Telomere's Pony. One map in, Free Ganondorf 4 has won on overtime. So I believe now we'll probably see the first pick from Telomere's Pony. That was quite a match that we just got to see, and hopefully we get another good one coming up next. So, we're gonna go back to back alt picks to start off this match, it looks like. Nomad 4 into Nomad 3. Lotoshimae is the first pick here from Telmare's Pony. And while they're getting set up, we will introduce to you the team's course Free Ganondorf 4. We did see earlier they were victorious in their first match of the day. Captain Besta joined by Fumatsu Carbone, Ganondorf 2, Barbex, Suli, and Kalangi. They're going to be taking on Team Telmeray's Pony, which is uh, mainly um, Danish roster with Ted. Uh, Redzi, I am Vil, Ted, Catburger, Hestai, T Munkin, Pole, and Marco Polo. Um, so, a bunch of people that I am personally not familiar with on that team. Obviously, I am Vil, um, a known quantity, but mostly not a super well known squad of players. So. We'll see how things go for these teams. But Free Ganondorf 4 with uh, a very close victory on the first map. Only won by 2.7 million points. So, Elmeray's Pony thinking, well, maybe we can do something happen on this other alt pick here since the uh, first one did not end up in like any sort of blowout by either team. This is uh, match number two for Free Ganondorf 4. As I said, they did win their first match a little bit earlier on. Over the top seeded Don't Care. Uh, Don't Care, who are right now taking on uh, somebody, I believe. Yeah, they're taking. Or no, yeah, Don't Care is taking on Black Belt right at the same time. So we'll see uh, a couple of results out of this group pretty rapidly here. We get the early break in from Catburger, followed up by Pole. It's an early lead for Free Ganondorf 4. Only about a quarter of the way in. Plenty of maps to come. A lot of, a lot of combo in this one, you know? So, it's not over till it's over, even in V1. And there's a chain miss from Ganondorf 2. Gives them their first break of this map. Pulley, though, finding another miss for Telmeray's Pony, so it's going to just be traded right back over. Triple FC from Free Ganondorf 4. See how much work that can do. Catburger, only a couple hundred combo behind, not the end of the world, but, but he is over 3 million points behind the FC players, and Redzi with a break takes away another FC from Telmeray's, so Free Ganondorf going to feel pretty good. Going into this tricky section here, We've seen plenty of breaks in this portion of the map, but it looks like players here are doing just fine. Will they all make it through? Yes, they do. 
I believe that's the first time I've seen an 8-way full combo of that section, and Fumatsu breaks immediately thereafter, just because I said that. That was out of spite for me, I think. But it is still Barbex and Kalangi with the full combos, and Redzi and Poli both finding breaks for Telmeray's Pony, as Ganondorf 2 does as well. So I am villain Catburger in a 2v2 here against Kalangi and Barbex, but the 9 million point, 10 million point lead is there for Free Ganondorf 4. Just a third of the map to go. Oh, Barbex finds a break. Okay, this could still be interesting. This could still be very, very interesting, in fact. We'll see what villain Catburger can do. Kalangi's not going to be able to hold him up by himself, but Catburger breaks on the buzz slider. Poli misses as well as Humatsu. There's no combo other than Kalangi, Kalangi. And I am Vil. Those are the only combos left in the map, really, to speak of. And Kalanki does find a break. I am Vil is in a position to try to bring this one back. I don't know if he can bring back 6 million points all on his own, but he's going to do his darndest. I don't remember what the FC score ends up coming out to on this map, if there's enough time for him to bring this score get back. But it's 3 million points and dropping because Redzi has a 400 combo as well. This is going to end up being quite close here at this ending, especially if those two maintain their combos, and it is going to go on over. Telmeray's Pony takes their first lead of the map at the exact right time to do it. And it looks like they will take this point. They're going to get their own first pick by a 4 million point margin. See, Scorvy one can be exciting, you guys. Good job to I am Ville, the FC, 39 million points, so it would have been enough on his own. But the backing combo, very important as well, of course. That is quite well done. I don't know if that's an FC, but it's at least an S rank. That is a, uh, that is a point back. One to one goes the score. Homer's Pony taking their first point. Their first pick. You'll love to see it. you just love to see it. It's, uh... You know, you, you get the two alt maps back to back to start things off. Each team winning one of them. Back over to free again, North Four for their own second pick. Jimmy Noma too. Like, I didn't play that earlier, yeah. I think at least. Good tech. We've seen, of course, a lot of this map. It's been played a ton. Some streams and some doubles. We talk about the doubles every time. I think if you've seen anything at all, you'll know about the doubles. It's uh, kind of the defining aspect of this map. So just be ready. And most people have been hitting them just fine, honestly. Almost anything in this map that's, that causes a break just kind of feels like a shit miss. So we are going to be all set to go into map number three. Going from a couple alt picks into a streamy pick. Umatsu, Ganondorf 2, Barbex, Kalangi, Hestai, Pole, I am Vil, Ted, your eight contestants in this one. Thelma Race Pony looking for a break point. Free Ganondorf 4 looking to just keep things, you know, on serve as it were. on what has proven to be, as I've said, one of those very popular picks in this pool. Barbex is uh, just hanging out, I guess. He's just chilling. All right, here we go. <laughs> Barbex is going to take a second to play by himself, catch up with everybody else. Wait, I did not just... It, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. And into it we go. 
you can see, pretty comfy streams. Nothing too uh, challenging here. The aim is very, very simple. Not too long, not too high BPM. Kind of the Goldilocks of streams, you know? Comfy BPM, comfy aim, comfy length. Lead early onto the side of Free Ganondorf 4. Double SS on Kumatsu and Barbex. Double SS on Poi and Ted. Estai. He, did he miss, actually? Yeah, he's missed in the first 20 combo. A little bit behind giving that lead to Free Ganondorf. Into the next little stream section we go. Still no misses. There was, in fact, a three-way SS now gone. But into the doubles. Any breaks here? I don't think so. Everybody holding their combo just fine. No worries, man. Easy for these players. Hestai with another break. I tell a lie. Oh, Ganondorf 2 and Fumatsu both going to find breaks as well, though. Advantage is going to be Telmeray's Pony. Triple FC still alive. And it is going to go their way pretty heavily here. Not a lot the free Gendor 4 can do other than watch that score gap grow in their minds after those misses. Kalangi with another miss as well for that side. And Pelmeray's Pony are just going to take this one very, very comfortably. Polly Ted and I am Vil with the FCs. Into the ending we come. Will it be a triple FC for that squad? And it indeed will. 10 million points, the final margin of victory. That was a clean break point for them. Not much you can do about a triple FC when you only have one FC on your own side. Barbex does finish out the SS, but unfortunately it just does not matter what he did once his teammates found those breaks. Very well done for Telmeray's Pony. Barbex saying that is his first ever SS on his profile. Is that actually true? Wait, he's really not joking. That's actually his first SS ever. How? Wait, he didn't even sum did he even submit it? It's not showing up. Like you see the SS in his recent scores, but you don't see the SS in his rank counts. Let's see if I refresh if it shows up. Huh. Does he have maybe he has score submission off, I'm not sure. Okay, actually, I don't understand Barbex. Can somebody explain to me this dude? He has 141,000 play count. And he has, like, 1,100 scores on his profile. Like, actually submitted ranks. Oh, it's not a rank map. That's right. Okay, that explains that. Um, but, like, I just... Be that as it may, look at this profile and tell me that's not a little weird. Like, he has 141k play count. He has 400... 93 silver S's, 122 gold S's, and 724 A ranks, and that's it. Does he just not submit anything ever? I, I guess that's the only answer to that question. He must just never submit anything. It's just mind-boggling that you can get 141k play count and have that few, like, actual scores on your profile. That's crazy. Anyway, we're going to go onward to the next pick from Team Telemarais Pony. It's going to be double time number two, which is, of course, step ahead. 210 BPM. I guess stream, like I'm air quoting stream here because it's not really that streamy. It has like a couple of streams in it. Our DT pick. This is one that we've seen pretty much everyone doing quite well on for the most part.
We should be able to get underway here with the next pick. And we are going to. We come out to Kalangi, Barbex, and Suli taking on Ted, Polly, I am Vil, and Redzi. We go from, uh, you know, stream no mod into kind of stream DT. Not really that streamy, but a little bit higher BPM at least. You do have to adjust that regard. Most players should not have too much trouble with this pick, but we'll find out. We've seen a lot of FCs on this. I believe uh, I think we saw five last match. We saw seven the match before that. This is a very user-friendly, very playable type of pick, so you can expect a lot of good scores on it. As long as we can actually, you know, see what happens at all, because we might just not get to see it at, at all, because DT and for the client lull. I really, it, I don't know. There's got to be a way to fix this. I just don't know what it is. Act drops in the first stream there, coming from Kalangi and from Ted, dropping to 93 and 95% act respectively. Still an SS on I Am Vil, still an SS on Suli and on Barbex. So. It's all about those combos, though. I Am Vil? I'm... Not sure if that was a real miss or if that was just a, a client break. What we'll find out here is Sumatsu finds a break as well. I guess that was an actual miss from Vil, so the lead was over to Free Gandor 4. However, Fumatsu did break, so Vil with combo advantage back over Fumatsu. The other three on both sides still holding FCs thus far, and the lead goes back over to Telmeray's Pony. A little bit of combo lead, a little bit of accuracy lead. Suli and Barbex both break, that's gonna do it. Suli actually failed the ending, um, which is, the map is already over. That's how far behind we were. <laughs> Thanks, lag. But uh, Telmeray's Pony do take it, and that's gonna be a 3 to 1 lead. This group is shaping up very weirdly if Telmeray's Pony end up winning this match. 3-1 to one lead, pretty good spot to be in. Uh, because this would mean that uh, you have the mid-seed beating the high-seed, and then the low-seed beating the mid-seed. So, it's very interesting here. Especially because we do, as we said, have another match going on at the same time. We have the top seed playing the bottom seed right now as well. become a thing here and it's gonna be hidden too as the pick coming in from the French team excuse me oh, been a long day already that's for about five hours now I think um hidden too huh click clock would the pick I don't know that I really predicted this to come out air eight hidden map Pretty straightforward. It's really very simple. 4.48 stars. The patterns are not complex. The reading is not as complex as it could be for being a low AR map. But uh, you know, still, it's going to go a very different direction than in most of what we've been seeing. Things like good tech, things like step ahead, really don't compare to this in any way at all. And we'll get to find out how these players are at reading. You know, there's not a lot of reading requirement in this pool overall. Um, it's really kind of hidden one hidden two uh, other than that maybe i guess arguably free mod two but really not a lot of reading in this pool in general um so it's going to be introducing a skill set that we haven't seen that much of
And in we're going to go. Arbex, Kalangi, Fumatsu, and Suli taking on Ted, Catburger, Vil, and Redzi. Regandor Force switching things up, trying to get uh, back into the swing of things here in this match. They fell behind that break point and dropped the next pick of Telemere's Pony, so... Put in a tricky position here, 3-1 to one down, with this being a first of five. But this pick might be very good for them. Ted and Redzi both finding early breaks already. Elmeray's Pony not looking the most comfortable with this map. Vil down at 85%. Redzi at 90%. Yeah, this is, uh, I think, a pretty good pick here. This uh, very short, low AR hidden pick. All right, well... And the question is, do they go hidden one after this? Assuming it's available, I did not see the bans for this match. There's a break for Barbex, but... Mmm, Fumatsu falling right up after it. Capper and Vil still holding on a combo. Ted breaking. But if Capper and Vil can hold on, Suli and Kalangi find a break. This could get very interesting. The score gap a million points, but I mean, that's really not that much. We're in a combo for the FCs. It's a small combo lead, unfortunately, for Free Ganondorf 4, so Telmer's Pony going to have some work to do. They've got to hold on to these FCs and hope to find some breaks from Free Ganondorf, but with only a third of the map to go, I don't know that there's really going to be much time. Still a million points separating the rosters. We'll find out here in the last few seconds of this map what's going to happen. Redzi with a break. That, I think, probably seals it, unless Free Ganondorf 4 finds a full reset. Ted breaking as well. There's no supporting combo for those two FCs on Telmer's Pony. Hidden one was banned. So not going to be an option. Hidden 3 would be a thing, possibly, but... I said, there's just not much reading in this pool, so if it's something that you're better than your opponent on, it just doesn't make a big difference, because there's not enough of it to be able to abuse that skill set. And once again, we see a big act drop on that last stream. Suli drops all the way down, but it does not matter. It's going to be a point for Free Ganon or 4. 3-2 goes the score. Tell Marie's Pony still in the lead with their own pick to come, but that was a very uh, a very important pick for Free Ganon or 4. They needed that point, and they got it. With a double FC, Kalangi with Kalangi, I don't know, with the uh, A rank FC, in fact, <laughs> 51 100s and 350s. Yeah, that's what happens. Like, you can play the map. You can't really play the map, but you can kind of play the map. Don't buy Romer G switches, yeah. I agree with that. Romer G switches do be kind of ass. Do be kind of ass, NGL. They're mushy, is what they are. They're really mushy. All right, Telmeri's Pony coming in quickly with the Nomad 5 as the next pick. Their third pick of the match here. Euphoric Orchid Dance, Zatera's Super Hard. Highest BPM pick in the pool, 230. Despite that, not really a speed map per se. I mean, it's got some quick bursts, but it's not, you know, going to be the, the raw speed demands of something that you would see in a later round. We'll get there sooner or later, but not quite as of yet. So, we'll see here. Tilmarie's Pony looking to give themselves an opportunity to match point. A couple match points, in fact, if they can uh, emerge victorious on their own pick here. You know, with with so little speed in this pool, I mean, there's just not a lot to compare to what to expect from their performance here. But, maybe a good pick for them.
like we should be about set to go here. All players readied up. Lumberry's pony. I'm gonna see if they can't give themselves that match point. Suli with a very early break from free Ganondorf 4 within the first 25 combo. I think that's too early to really matter, but you know, if you miss again, then it starts to be a little more important. Four-way intact for Telmeray's Pony, giving themselves a pretty severe advantage here. Accuracy lead in their favor, combo lead in their favor. Poli and Suli both breaking on nothing, but just a combo reset for those two, so it's not going to be the end of the world by any means. About 800,000, 900,000 point lead here for Telmeray's Pony, just about halfway through the pick. Kalangi with a miss for free Gandor 4. That might just end this map. Redzi still on the SS as well as Ted. I am Vil still on the high ack FC. And only double FC alive now for Gandor 4. Doing what they can, but not going to be able to make up that difference. Just under a third of the map left to go. 4 million, 5 million points. About to be. And players will see the score at the break. I think that was long enough to see the score. Not sure. Might not have been. Into slightly more difficult section here with these bursts and streams. Ted and Barbex gonna trade breaks. Villain Redzi holding on just fine. And into the ending, we're gonna come. It's gonna be Telmeray's Pony taking the point, taking a 4 to 2 lead, giving themselves a couple match points in their favor as they look to close this one out. And they are gonna do it. So this will be uh, Telmeray's Pony, 4-2, to two as they try to give themselves that 1-0 in the group. We take Free Gandor 4 down to 1-1. One one. be free Ganondorf 4 if they try to stay alive in this match. I mean, tough, tough ask. Telemary's ponies look pretty good, but still some different types of maps available in the pool, so if they can find a way to switch it up, maybe give themselves a shot. It's going to be hidden 3, so we are going to see that second hidden map. Didn't expect to see that after how easily they won Hidden 2. might be, I believe, the first time we're getting to see Hidden 3 on stream, which is actually a banger. The song is so good.
All right. Very little being said in this lobby. Players trying to stay super focused, I suppose, which is very good for many. Let's stay zeroed in on that goal, closing this match out. If you're Telmer's pony, if you're free Ganondorf, trying to make sure to stay alive, give yourself you know that chance at least at sending us to a tiebreaker on your own pick here. Barmak Suli Fumatsu Kalangi taking on Hestai. Not Hestia, Hestai. Polly, I am Vil, and Catburger. This is a relatively tricky alt map. And, you know, we've got the hidden modification applied to it just to make it a little more more tough. I do get the early break there from Hestai, but it was right in that first 20 combo, so a lot of time left to go. This is one of the longer maps. Uh, that we're gonna see three minutes and 25 seconds i know it's not long long but it's longer than a lot of the popular picks have been so far today i still yet to see a nomad one which is the longest map i believe in this pool other than the tiebreaker <clears throat> into the first key i we're gonna go only the one early break from hestai still everybody else holding those fc is just fine Nothing too tricky about this. Just keep your cursor in the right place on these sliders. And Hestai not having the greatest time, but Fumatsu finds a break for free game in our four, so it kind of bails out Telmeri's phone just a little bit. However, Hestai's accuracy down at 92% really not helping. 96 on Polly and I am Bill, so it does not seem to be quite their map. Catburger with the break. He had the highest accuracy on that team, too, so that's going to be pretty damaging. And we will see the lead go heavily in favor of free game four four here as we get into the second verse. Build a triple FC alive for free Ganondorf 4, looking very good. Polly and I am Bill, despite the 96 accuracy on both of them, are holding on to the FCs for Telemarie's Pony, so they're giving themselves a chance here. Kalangi does find a break, but it's Sully and Barbex on those FCs that are really most important for, for free Ganondorf 4, I believe, at this point. If they hold on, they'll be alright, but it's only 3 million points. Not a big score lead by any means. Oh, there's Hestai breaking on this very, very long uh, alternating pattern. I was always worried about the- Oh, Sully and Fumatsu would break! Well then! Well then, this just got interesting here. There's still almost over a quarter of the map to go, and now it's Polly and I am built with FCs for Telemary's Pony, and just Barbex with the FC for Free Ganondorf 4. That's a lot of score for Telemary's Pony. It's only a, not even a million points anymore. This one's going to go back over to Telemary's Pony if they can hold on. They've got 400 plus combo on Catburger as well as the double FC. Meanwhile, the only combo on Free Ganondorf 4 is on Barbex. He's not going to be able to hold on to this lead alone, and it goes over the last break before the final Ki comes in. And it may just be Telmeray's Pony closing this one out right here with a break point. They're going to be firmly in the driver's seat now. 2 million, 3 million points. Polly just find a break, but so do Fuli, Suli and Fumatsu. So it is I am Vil versus Barbex with Catburger backing up the former. Barbex with really not much on anyone else on his team. 4 million points, and we come down to the last moments of this map. It is going to be Telmeray's Pony taking this pick and taking this match. It is going to be a 5-2 to two final score. A bunch of breaks on the last note. Five. How many people just broke the last note? Five? <laughs> you hate to see it. But it does not matter. Telemary's Pony are going to be victorious. It's going to be another upset in this group. The low seed over the mid seed. By the score of 5-2. to two. The Danish team taking out the French team. And making things just a little more interesting. Here in Group E. Means matching scores five to two free Ganondorf one over don't care and five to two Telmeris Pony one over free Ganondorf four and we've got don't care playing their second match at the same time as well see if we've got a result in for that one as of yet not quite still waiting to see what happens there